In the following demo, we will describe some of the high-level benefits possible by implementing business process management for a typical automotive manufacturing process. Our production manager at an automotive OEM, Sue, logs on to her customized personal dashboard. She's able to monitor critical production activities and get company updates and information relevant to her role. Automotive OEMs need the ability to access timely, accurate factory floor information for better efficiency and performance. Sue's executives recently announced a need for better production efficiency. She sees a request for year-to-year -year overall performance improvements of 5% and a red alert for assembly line 2200. Based on her KPI of 80 vehicle throughput per hour, it's not performing up to par. It's producing only 72 vehicles per hour, and there is a 2% increase of part cost per vehicle. She contacts her business analyst, Jane, to address this issue. To meet this year's performance requirements, they decide to use business process management, leveraging SOA and IBM's manufacturing integration framework to react quickly with as little effect to production downtime or quality as possible. BPM will provide a comprehensive set of capabilities to streamline business processes, lower operating costs, provide greater visibility, and make faster and easier changes to the business needs. Using BPM, the OEM can model and simulate business processes, rapidly deploy and change these processes, monitor and optimize the end-to-end -end process as well as each component. After discussing and documenting business goals with Sue, Jane is able to meet with the engineer managers. Using BPM, the team has the capability to collaborate and rapidly align stakeholders to process objectives. They can map out the current assembly process model of Line 2200 to understand the cause of the red alert. Before the company had BPM tools, this whole process was manual, tedious, and inefficient using process maps. A process map is a static representation of the flow and tasks that are manually put together versus a living and dynamic process model that changes to support a process adjustment. Once the team collaborates to map out the current process for Line 2200, they simulate a few scenario runs to determine what to do. They discover a bottleneck and overusage of emergency parts in the assembly process. Normally, as-planned parts are used in the assembly line, and if they run out, emergency parts are the alternative. The emergency parts are more expensive because the quantity purchased is lower versus the as-planned quantity. The KPI states usage of as-planned versus emergency parts should be at a 100 to 0 ratio. The switch requires approval from the production manager to create a production concession to authorize. The process model indicates emergency parts are at plus 10% usage. The preferred usage would be less than 5%. Jane also sees that Line 2200 is using emergency parts too frequently, which leads to decreased profit per car and potential production delays. The team has a few options to increase productivity. They could change the KPI for usage of as-planned parts which increases the flexibility of part usage. Change inventory levels of emergency parts to ensure stock levels are sufficiently high, or add an alternative process versus using as-planned parts. Using BPM Model and Simulate, Jane was able to collaborate process models with management and other subject matter experts to confirm her analysis and define a 2B process prior to deployment. BPM offers a variety of capabilities to help. Represent the production line processes with intuitive graphic models. Optimize ROI and assess process changes using what-if process simulations without deploying. Identify and resolve bottlenecks as well as estimate cost savings before deployment. Before BPM, Jane would not be able to determine the bottleneck so quickly. She'd have to identify the problem, identify the best final solution, and possibly slow down the line to replenish parts or, worst case scenario, stop the line completely. Once Jane and the process engineers finalize their 2B process model, they can now deploy it into a process execution engine, which goes into production.
At this stage, Jane works with IT. They transform the business process by separating the business logic from the process itself into components that integrate with disparate IT systems, human tasks, content, business policies, and communication channels. Because these components eliminate the need for hard coding, business and IT can now work together and establish guidance for the deployed process. It can now be reused or changed based on variability. They can work together to quickly enable the transformation office to achieve the new strategic direction of consolidating plants into lower cost labor markets and quickly offer innovative new products to its customers. Changing the part usage KPI was the best option because it increases productivity immediately. They've gone from 72 to 80 vehicle throughput per hour. They're able to replenish as planned parts earlier in the cycle so that there's a limited occurrence of part shortage. Changing the flexibility for part usage means less time waiting for approval to use emergency parts and ultimately increases automobile output. Overall cost of emergency part per vehicle has decreased by 4% because of larger volume discounts and through predictive and preventative analysis they can make better business decisions on inventory management. With BPM from IBM, companies can provide business users the ability to make process changes, enable agility to modify processes and have better control, consolidate, harvest, and reuse core process components. Without the value of BPM and SOA, policies would not be exposed for easy process change. They're embedded in the code permanently, unavailable to be reused by any other process. After the change is deployed, it can be monitored for optimal performance by different levels of employees at the company. Sue can log into her dashboard again and view the production floor productivity statistics. They are now meeting the KPI of 80 vehicle throughput per hour and overall production has increased by 6%. BPM from IBM was used to support lean manufacturing. It enabled efficiency in the provision of parts and the assembly process shaved five seconds off the production line, increasing throughput by 3%. This is a major time savings in the automotive assembly line. This optimized lean process can now be rendered into components and reused across this global organization with no hard coding. On the same assembly process, Bob, the production line supervisor for 2200, can use his dashboard to monitor not just the average time per vehicle, but additional details that are relevant to him. Sue and Bob now have better production visibility with enhanced collaboration capabilities for rapid change. Sue can quickly report to her executives that productivity has exceeded expectations and improved by 6% as a result of applying BPM principles to her entire production floor. They have improved production downtime, reduced cost per vehicle, and ensured early visibility of upcoming changes. They'll now effectively monitor production with real-time data and simplify plant operations. BPM enables organizations to optimize processes with actionable insights, adapt and respond rapidly to changing conditions, collaborate and align business and IT stakeholders. Without BPM from IBM in place, Sue couldn't help executive management reach its business goals of increasing productivity, decreasing expense, and seizing new market opportunities in advance of competition. Ultimately, in this scenario, BPM from IBM value is demonstrated across production line processes that can also be applied in other areas across the automotive industry.